If the eyes are the windows to the soul, then these puppets reveal an unexpected depth of emotion that captures your imagination, thanks to the creative duo behind the independent eye. I play King Lear barefaced. And I play the fool. With uh, a nose. Right, with a red <laughs> nose and a Three Stooges uh, clown wig. Yeah, and, and all, of the other, <laughs> all of the other characters are puppets, and you really have to learn instinctively what their expressive mechanism is. Nothing conceals them on stage as they employ 20 puppets of varying kinds to bring Shakespeare's King Lear to life. Normally we use uh, hand puppets in this, but we use a few of these guys who are a little bit different in style. Thou nature art my goddess. To thy law my services are bound. The nature of the puppets is something that brings out really the voice of the text more strongly than conventional acting. As we say in the prologue, this is as performed by Lear in Hell. He's it's storytelling really, his own tragedy. It's really his own puppet show. But there's an inherent risk of being stereotyped when using puppets. Anytime you say the word puppet, children is what first comes into mind. Yeah. And we have to say, you know, no one will be legally barred from the space, but we want people to go forward. For one thing, this is a hundred minutes long with no intermission. <laughs> and it's very dark. And the extraordinary thing is that we get extraordinarily strong response from it. I mean, people, oh yeah. I cried. If you want to feel terror, you give yourself with great confidence to Stephen King. And he comes through for you. He scares the living daylights out of you. If you want to feel loss and the wish for redemption, you give yourself to King Lear. And to the capable hands and puppets of Conrad Bishop and Elizabeth Fuller. Beth Accomando, KPBS News. Edgar and Patty comes like the catastrophe of the old comedy. Oh, how now, Brother Edmund? Uh, what serious contemplation are you in? <laughs>